Now, our number one player in the Prep Hoops class of 2022 is Joshua Jefferson. And for me, I'm going to be 100% honest with everyone. It took me, I was up a lot of nights watching film, going back and forth between Jefferson and Pop. I actually talked to a lot of other of my colleagues. And most of the people said, you know, hey, you know, don't overthink it. You know, just don't overthink it. But the more and more I started watching them play, Sometimes you earn what you get, and I think Joshua Jefferson earned the number one ranking. I mean, not only what he did this summer playing with Dream Vision against good competition, but he put together a terrific season for Liberty. I mean, he had the magnificent performance uh, against Gorman in the Tartan Classic. And really what separated it to me was his willingness to transform his body from more of a back-to-basket traditional post player to now more of a wing guy. I mean, you're looking at a 6'8 guy with wing skills that's able to put the ball on the floor, get to the rim and finish. He carried his team. He helped carry his team to a state title. Just no way I could ignore all the accomplishments and everything that this kid did. I believe that St. Mary's is getting a sleeper. And I'm proud to announce our number one player in the Prep Hoops class of 2022 is Liberty State Champion Joshua Jefferson. Lou? I don't know what else to say. Pretty much you said it all. I'm so proud of this kid, you know, watching him over the last four years, the growth, the work, the drive. You know, Coach Dedon for his AAU team was, was, was on him relentlessly. He picked it up, went to Dream Vision this summer, get, played against better competition transformed his body his father was on him you know he listened to his dad which he comes from a great background um his teammates love him which is always a good sign of a, from a star player um the rebound pass playmaking ability steals late game shooting i mean just a complete player checked all the boxes and uh, like you said they're definitely getting a sleeper buck yeah uh, just just by him being uh, where he is and being the number one kid in this class, if you was to say that four years ago, you wouldn't have probably happened watching this kid transform his body, like everyone said, and the dedication that it took, his footwork, um, he can handle, he can uh, pass, he can shoot the three, he can post, he sets screens, never complains, he rebounds. Um, Again, and, and, and when you say great fits, I mean, he's going to St. Mary's, one of the top teams in the country, and um, he's, he's coachable, and he's played with D-Don, and I, I just I think it's still a, a lot more to go just watching this kid from where he came from to where he is now. I'm just excited to see where he goes into the future, but St. Mary gets, gets a great player and a great kid 